Hey there guys, welcome back to another video here at Top Tier Garage. Today I'll be going over the recall on this little gem here. I'll be going over the details on if your seat is affected by this recall, how much money you're gonna be getting back, and the whole reason why it was recalled in the first place. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the reason behind this recall. So apparently the hydraulic tube that meets with the seat on top only has four small spot welds that hold the entire seat on. So when you move from side to side, cause that's the only mounting spot, it tends to flex those welds and eventually those welds will crack and the seat will fall off taking you with it. So I could see the danger behind it, but honestly, these things were a danger just to begin with. I mean, you're rolling around on a small platform the size of a freezer pizza with five casters on it, and you're extended 20 inches in the air. So I mean, you are either super confident with your garage cleanliness, but heaven forbid there is gravel or a zip tie, because if you start rolling around and that caster hits anything, it's basically gonna tip you over to begin with. So, I mean, I think this recall was kind of a blessing for people to get their money back or maybe even switch to a different product. I personally like the shorter, small little chairs and they seem to have more reinforcement. So, this whole recall was a long time coming. So, I really thought Harbor Freight was gonna take down the entire listing, but turns out they're either gonna give you mo your money back or they'll give you a new replacement with my guess is the entire thing welded instead of four small spot welds. So I rushed to the Harbor Freight website and kind of looked through this product and the amount of one star reviews saying that their seat broke, the casters fell off. So the seat mounting plate is about the same thickness as the bottom. So when the seat snaps off, you're casters are just flexing just as much and I guess the casters tend to snap off but as you can see I'll put a bunch of reviews here I had to screenshot them before I thought they'd take it down so here they all are I mean this this recall was a long time coming so in order to find out if your seat is actually eligible for the recall you can either look on the sticker that's on top, like where the storage compartment is, or you can actually flip it upside down and there'll be a sticker on the bottom side. I'll post the two spots that they can possibly be right here. So, but the thing is, if you somehow, or if the seat's old and you ended up removing these stickers, I mean, it's pretty much a guessing game at that point. So, I mean, I'm sure if you go to the store, they're not gonna tell you no, you can't have a refund or get a replacement. So if those are both missing, I would just say you're better safe than sorry and just taking it in. I'm sure they won't have an issue with it. But the overall, so you can exchange it with the new one, but, or you can get it on a gift card and you'll be looking at about $32 that you can get on a gift card. Now, me personally, I would take that money and I would spend it towards the smaller chair, more stable, a lot more reinforcement. You don't gotta worry about it breaking as much. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching the entire video and please like and subscribe and stick around for more Harbor Freight news, deals, and just tool deals in general. Thanks for watching. Top Tier Garage.